Okay, I'll just be here. I believe this is part three of my book, Ramit's Clan. Oh, shoot. This thing's about ready to die. Well, when it does, I'll well, stop it. Yeah, it died. Shoot. Well, hmm. Battery died. I will... Ah, what the heck. I'll read that anyway. What the heck. Okay. Nah. <laughs> I'll do something else. I'll read uh, the rest of Ramit's Quran some other time. Yeah. trying to think of something. Oh, you know, I'm keeping my attention to on northern Iraq. I have a feeling that uh, Baghdad is going to fall to ISIS and be a real uh, slap in the face to a blamer, make him look like an idiot for doing pinpricks when he should have been doing something more against those guys. And I think what will happen is uh, he will uh, start arming the Kurds in in uh, Armenia and Turkey, where according to Bible prophecy, Jeremiah fifteen fifty one, well actually Jeremiah fifty one, it's Eretz and Ashkenaz, and. Uh, And then they will come down. There'll be what the Bible talks about people of the north coming down. And uh, uh, there's that scripture go up, O Elon, besiege O media. So if I start seeing that we are arming the Kurds with good uh, weapons uh, and actually going from pinpricks to actually bombing ISIS, I'll start thinking Jeremiah 50 and 51 are about ready to be fulfilled uh, completely. So, anyway, I'll post a uh, video here to let you know what I'm talking about. A, a, a link to a video that I wrote. Not, not, a, not a video, but a video that I've made. And you, you can go there and you'll see uh, that I've been looking at Jeremiah 1551 in relation to uh, Iraq and our time with the Kurds and all that stuff. And you'll see uh, uh, why I think this stuff with ISIS is uh, significant. So, uh, no Ramitz Koran now until I get that uh, thing. Uh, Recharged <laughs> by 